Oops. And Wait. it's gone. Oh, okay. It's gone. It just got brighter or something all of a sudden. It's very bright, and we just got up and well, looked like doo doo. <laughs> it is daytime, though. So, another beautiful, sunny day here yeah. in Silver We're City. Sitting. Not yeah. for long, though. Not. We're going to be bye byes. We're going to be leaving the nest here. Yeah. This has been a great place, though. And got like stuff that I've sold already. I've got some clothes that I've already had a woman come over and she already like has it all set up. So she's going to come and get it on yeah. Saturday. We have a what a garage, garage sale. sale. Yeah. Or like a storage unit sale. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, you know, hopefully we'll get those papers for our car registration Get and get out of here. Yeah. You know. New beginnings. New beginnings. Getting rid of my uh, acoustic guitar, my uh, ovation, because we can't. It's like whatever we could fit in the car and that little thing that we're going to buy on top. So it's pretty much just our clothes, our computers, and mm -hmm. our instruments, and that's pretty much it. New beginning and free as a bird. Yep. And just like, you know, sipping pina coladas mm -hmm. on the beach and enjoying going jogging or, yeah. I don't know, just do something, yeah. right? Yeah. But, you know, a lot of times for people, new beginnings means hypocrisy. Yeah. <laughs> or changing the way one feels about things and not really being in alignment with with the energy source that we were on before. It, it was, was a very so negative and, negative and hurtful. Yeah. But those that love that energy recruited us yeah. and wanted us to spread the message of hate, of divide. Yeah. Well, we're particularly talking about the radical feminists that have decided to parade themselves all over our social media outlets. Yeah. I mean, on and our my, YouTubes, on our Facebooks, on your blogs. The transitioning blog. You know, yeah. I mean, it's like, what's, it's spreading the, lies. what's the point? Yeah. You know, I'll, now I have like seven children. Seven kids. I thought it was I didn't five. know I had two more. Yeah, must have been. I, had, I don't know. No idea. I meant the mailman, maybe? maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, I have five. Yeah. And um, one of the biggest reasons we're going to Florida is so I could be closer to them. So yeah. it's not a call to an abandonment thing. It's called about, it's all about wanting to, you know, rebuild bridges and stuff and connections and things of that nature. Yeah. So and about forgiving, you know, you know? Yeah. and uh, but a lot of these drive families don't know what the word forgive. They love the anger. They love to to bathe in it. That's that's their mo. And well, you know, they talk about you know radical, the root form of it being, the word to get to the root of. But you know, I've done some research on my own, and the only thing that I've gotten to the root of and radical and radical feminism, is the radical form of hatred yeah. that they espouse. For Against not men. just men, for all of humanity, yeah, it they, seems. Even hate, they even hate women that don't fit their ideological belief of what a woman should look like or be. Yeah. You know, so they hate everybody, and they're usually older. You know, miserable. A lot of them are uh, lesbians, and some aren't. You know, but it's just people with hormonal imbalances that I've I've found um, in their behavior and the way they express themselves. That they're not happy. And I'm used to dealing with women like that because I used to have a workout studio that I used to get a lot of women with hormonal imbalances. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I mean, there's just this characteristics that they all share, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, hey, hate all you want. It doesn't affect us. We know it who really we are. It really doesn't. I mean, because, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, we have a brand new car sitting down in the carport. We yeah. have a beautiful life and love with each other. Mm -hmm. And... You know, we, we're all about spreading the message of hope and love and compassion for yeah. all. Yeah. Not just for women, not just for men, yeah. but for everyone, for everyone including our planet, yeah. including things that aren't male or female. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, I think that all of this hatred that we've experienced, you know, lately has just really served to draw us even closer than we were before. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I love even more today than I did yesterday. And that was after the attacks that I've had, that we've had on our wall lately, you know? And, you know, that's the thing. I mean, it's like love has no enemy. You know, hatred against somebody, you know, where it goes, it goes right back at the person who pointed the hatred. So it does no nothing. It does no good at all. 
Another thing I want to point out, some of these women tend to think that I have no brain of my own, that I'm being influenced. I know. It's like, you're like, I mean, you're, if you knew me, oh my God. if you knew the person that I've been all of my That's life. Her sister. Yeah. I don't take mom. shit from no one. My brain doesn't get washed by oh anything. God. I am the most outspoken individual in the world. So you got the wrong person here. I mean, Literally. I mean, you might be projecting how you are, but this person here, no. I'm sorry. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'm not really like a loud alpha person or anything. So All woman me, right here. I couldn't, you know, I would never like be able to sway her in any which way you know she loves me she she does things for me because she loves me not because i've like somehow mangled her mind to thinking a certain way and ironically when we were fighting against the trans community this is the exact same you know angle that people wanted to paint you yeah that as i was brainwashed me yeah, exactly. you know they were saying oh i think lynn is being swayed we we need to kidnap her and and, yeah. and release her from the bondage of being with a person like 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 maritza like mark at, at the, the time, time. Yeah. and it's like you know it's the same thing same energy it's the same, same energy. radical energy same hateful energy yep and it's extreme extreme in extreme anything is dangerous extreme fundamental religion you know you see what's happening over in the middle east mm -hmm. that's extreme you know what happens when black people and white people can't get along and they have different bathrooms for them back in the 50s and 60s that is extreme mm -hmm. enslaving people that belong to a certain race is extreme mm -hmm. you know i mean these ideologies that you know want to take away the rights of people like communism and Marxism are extreme. These and, are things that, you know. And are being used by a political system as pawns because they really don't care about you and those that are following this ideology. They don't care about you. You're being used as pawn because it's a political ploy. Yeah. You know, that's all it is. It, it pays the bills. They create this format, this movement, and then they make money out of it. And then they use people. They use the suffering of people to parade things around. It's and it's it's like the duality of things is where people get it wrong. And because in coming together is where we can unify and make this world a better place. But all this polarization, you know, I mean, articles that I posted about radical feminism, all of the leaders that have espoused radical feminism, the quotes that I read about what radical feminism I mean, these are people that hate men. They believe that penis and vagina sex is wrong That's and crazy. that it's like that women don't like it. You know, I mean, I'm sure that there are plenty of women that like PIV kind of sex. Oh, yeah. I, I would say the majority do. But, you know, I mean, it's like it's like you try to like enrage women to like become like angry with you That's and to share do. in your anger. They do that and they, they recruit the young individuals, young women, and fill them up with hate. And a lot of detransitioners have been used as pawns. And, you know, we've talked about this. And what is it, the Wolf uh, Organization? Women's Liberation Front. Right? Yeah, and they're talking crap about us now on their on their little page there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's wrong, altogether wrong, what they're doing. And they're spreading lies. And, you know, a lot of this... To realize all of this stuff is libel, so uh, be careful what you say and what you put out there because we're not going to take it sitting down. Yeah. So you know you've used us enough. We rallied behind your your movement, your statement, and no more because we we want to come from a place of love. We want to educate people. We want to stop seeing the battles between men and women. You know, between the trans community and feminists. You know, everyone has a right to live. Yeah. Everyone has a right to identify as they see fit. Biology is not written in stone. Yes, gonads and uh, what is it, ovum and sperms are there to make babies, but we are more than ovums and sperm. We are people with feelings, and we should be allowed to express and be and identify as we wish. You said it. So on that note, just want to wish everyone a great day, and don't forget to watch our show because we're going to talk about things next Tuesday. Radical anything is extreme. extreme yes. And uh, 
the hair that I had on the other night, obviously it's not my hair, which, you That's know. That's not? No. Didn't I'm, you buy it? Well, <laughs> I'm still bald, but, you know, just. Well, I love your baldness. I love you with hair, without hair. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Hair. I know you do. And I understand. Believe me, there was a time in my life, not too long ago, <laughs> when I was dealing with the same thing. And I just want to tell you that I'm here with you mm -hmm. along the way on this path and that we're going to be just fine. Yeah. You know, because we love each other. That's right. And that's, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Love has no enemies. Well, guys, we love you, even those that don't love us. But remember to always love yourself.